our group focuses on converting solar energy to electricity, right? And we're working on a class of solar cells which are referred to as third generation solar cells. The goal of our project was that how do we take these materials and control their crystalline properties, the crystalline size and, and get them to a point which are comparable to what is used in day-to-day uh, -day semiconducting industry like gallium arsenide or silicon. We're not there yet, silicon is the holy grail. But one of the biggest advantages of this material, and at least from what we've uh, begun to you know, discover, is that you can make very high quality crystals uh, of this material, which are large area, they are single crystalline, and they have properties which are at par with silicon or gallium arsenide. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in the engineering aspect of things, in terms of the stability of trying to get uh, the right electrical contacts for them to perform at par with silicon but I would say that uh, this is something which uh, which will be achieved in the coming years. So we uh, developed a new technique it's called the hot casting process where we keep our substrate hot and solution hot and do the spin coating at the elevated temperature and at the same time the, uh, the, col uh, the film color will be converted from uh, light yellow to dark brown which means we're forming a uh, high quality crystalline grains and if we look at it under the microscope, we, uh, we are able to achieve uh, up to millimeter scale uh, large crystal grains. And normally for the uh, crystal to grow, it usually require high temperature or sophisticated processing, but uh, this method is kind of low temperature and easy solution processing. There has always been a lot of defects and disorder and multiple interfaces that has plagued uh, efficiencies and so by growing these crystals of high quality you sort of circumvented that problem and solved an important bottleneck uh, which has sort of existed in in this field of nanomaterial solution based solar cells third generation solar cells solar energy is try to tap into the unlimited amount of solar energy that is uh, that falls on earth and that's basically free and if you can harvest that at a very very low cost much cheaper than that of what is used you know what we what by burning coal for example in fossil fuels then that gives us a route to really be completely energy uh, independent uh, as a nation and even as a planet